Today we're installing a 2003 to 2007 uh, Chevy GMC bucket seat. As you can see, we got one armrest that folds down per seat. On that, adjustable headrest, and then the shoulder-mounted seat belt that's actually in the seat. This model can be found in Chevy trucks, uh, Suburbans, and then GMC Yukons. Uh, first step to that um, will be to slide on the headrest cover. We do that with the headrest still on the seat. Um, and as you'll notice, you open up the seat covers carefully. All the parts and pieces of the seat cover are labeled on the inside right of each piece. And um, so for the headrest, the extending Velcro goes to the front. And I usually push the seat all the way forward and then tilt the backrest up. And then you're going to put it on in a sewing motion. Now you'll find out that it's a lot easier doing this on the vehicle than trying to do it in your hands. So see I'm just kind of sawing that back and forth. And what you want to do is we're going to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on the headrest. This is pretty darn close to where it is right now. Um, next step will be to um, removing the headrest. So we're going to lift that up. And then I'm just going to temporary stick those, connect those to the Velcro on the back side. But what I'm using is just a small piece of metal. It's actually a hog ring that I've straightened out. What works really well is an, uh, an Allen wrench. You know, something small that's got to fit into these little holes right here. Okay, so the headrests come out quite easily. I'm going to just push the, the pin into that hole and then I'm going to hold up on it. Now right now I'm just keeping upward pressure on it. Feel for the hole on the back side there. You know, so I still have just gentle pressure. I don't want to pull up too hard and uh, put it in the other hole and the headrest lifts out. What you're going to find out is it barely clears to get that headrest out. You may recline the backrest uh, to get that out as well. So, the way our covers work is, is all hook and loop for the installation. So, I'm just going to pull this tight. And I'm going to hold that down tight with that hand. I'm going to take this back Velcro and just press it to the cover. Same thing here, nice and tight. Press it to the cover. The headrest cover is complete. And on here, you know, of course, we're lining up the seams of the seat cover left and right to the seams that are on that headrest. So that's done. We'll go ahead and set that aside. We're going to install the driver top next. Um, you'll notice uh, this Yukon in some Suburbans, you know, especially the fancier models, will have. Uh, this airbag in the side of it, and this is only for leather seats. Cloth seats won't have this. This particular model has electric controls as well. Um, we're going to prep the seat before we start installing. We're going to push down on the back side of this flat bar right here, and you'll just see the back side of that seat bottom dropping away. Now, that's the best way to clean these things, too. So, you want to take it, you'd slap your hand on the seat, you can bounce all that sand and grit up out of there, out of the cracks and just take and sweep it right out the back edge. And that seat is completely clean, ready for installation. Um, you'll note the driver's top always has our label on the back side. So that'll, that'll be a good cue to that as well. We've made an opening for that airbag so the airbag still deploys. So you want to carefully disconnect the seat cover with the Velcro. Don't rip on it real hard. Here we have a Velcro opening as well that helps us get around the seat belt area. Um, and then you'll notice all the pieces too as well are labeled on the inside right. And the, the markings are very, very light and very faint just because we don't want to transfer any of that onto your seat. Okay. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recline this backrest. I'm going to flip that armrest up. And that's the first thing that I'm going to kind of work through the seat cover. As you notice on the inside, we have an opening for that armrest. So that's the first thing that I do. Flip that armrest up, and it's tight going around there, so you got to kind of work the armrest around a little bit until it gets completely behind that, okay? Then I just kind of pull on that cover around there. I want to make sure that it gets down nicely all the way down on the inside, so I'm grabbing that material and just pulling it down on the inside. I want to bring this back up into the straight up position. Next we're going to uh, tuck the seat cover underneath the plastic for the headrest. So basically you're going to give that a pull 
I'm going to do this inside one here first. So you just pull it a little bit past, and it just kind of naturally wants to, to pull over there. So we'll do this side, going to pull, tuck this side under, and so it just kind of naturally wants to uh, pull over. Next, we're going to work the cover around the seat belt assembly. Okay, so you're going to pull that seat, seat belt away. Here's how I do that. So I just start it by kind of sawing, seesawing the cover in. See how it goes in there behind there nicely? Some of the models you want to take and use, oh, maybe a, a dull butter knife, something without teeth on it. You can help tuck that material behind there. Um, I'm just going to grab a tuck tool that we have. So this is just nice, rounded, real soft on the edges. And I'm just going to tuck that right behind there as I pull that down into position. Okay. And that's all tucked in. So where I want this to be when it's tucked in, I want that to be right level with that seat belt. Okay, and I'll show you why. We're just going to take this other piece. We're going to fasten these two pieces of Velcro together. And they should just meet up very nicely. Right there. I'm going to have to pull this one a little farther because I want these seams to be equal. This seam is too far that way. I'll just disconnect it and give it another little pull. So these seams are lined up. Okay. There we go there. Next I'm going to tuck the... Uh, Seat cover behind the opening of the airbag. See how easily that tucks around there. And that is just designed so that airbag deploys easily. So if you get the crash, this airbag is just going to pop out. Normally, so I'll take that out, smooth everything out. Next, I'm going to come around to the back side. Okay, I'm going to connect this vertical Velcro, kind of doing a bear hug method. So I'm going to reach around with one hand and, and the other. You're going to start at the top and just work your way down a few inches at a time. And here again, the material should meet right there. And overlap it a little tiny bit. Right. So now that we have the cover positioned properly, we're going to take and tuck in these Velcros from the front edge to the back edge. Now what I'm doing on the front side of the seat is I'm sliding my hand, see where the Velcro is I got a hold of here from the back, sliding my hand down the seat, see it tighten up, and then right there I'm grabbing it with that hand that I pulled down the front my hand holding it tight. I'm going to just take the cover, press it down to it. Should get pretty close uh, to touching there. We'll go ahead and pull on the center one a little bit. You don't want to pull too tight or you create wrinkles on the other side. Pretty close to touching. Slide my hand down this one. Touch that in. Now I can see there's a slight amount of wrinkling right here. And I can feel that it isn't quite as tight here, I get maybe an inch gap. Um, that'll vary a little bit too as per your lumbar adjustment um, that way, but I'm gonna gain a little bit more off of this one. I'm just gonna detach this Velcro. I'm gonna go back to the front and I'm gonna sweep my hand down the front to get those wrinkles out. See, all those wrinkles came out. Now I'm gonna hold that tight, press that against the seat, come to the back side, I'm gonna hold that tight to the seat, press that down and reconnect. Now the material is touching so I've actually gained about an inch on that. The backrest section is done. I'll just recline the seat. Just makes it easier to get the headrest in. Next we're going to install the uh, driver's armrest cover. You notice it kind of looks like a slipper. So to speak, and so it has a Velcro at the back edge. Carefully open that up, and you can see right on the inside where they're marked. Uh, this particular model says DA, so a driver's armrest, passenger armrest will be labeled PA. So now that we have the Velcro opened up, I just 
come in and just kneel on the seat flip that armrest up and then here again we're going to line up the seams of this cover to the seams that are on your armrest cover that's how i made it we just copied what the factory had so we're going to pull this over and the sticky hook velcro goes to the front you'll see why in just a minute here so we're going to just pull that all the way down and notice how tight that is should just fit perfect no wrinkles nothing okay now i'm going to flip this armrest up and i'm going to really pull hard and tuck in that hook velcro here so right now i'm holding that hook velcro into position while i'm tucking that forward okay and you can see right here that I've pulled that hook velcro up from the front edge okay so got a little tricky maneuver here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that up with one hand you notice this loop velcro sewn on the back edge I'm gonna just take that and press that right over the top of that hook velcro and I can feel my fingers back in there and see that it is connected fairly tight I'm gonna lift it up Look at that armrest, make sure everything's positioned correctly. Looks like I can grab a little bit more, so I have a gap of about a quarter inch that I can gain some material on it. So I just reach down in there and disconnect it. I'm gonna pull up on that armrest again, hold that into place, and just take this top piece of loop Velcro and just press it right over. There we go. That's much better. Gained that quarter inch. It tightened everything up. And we'll just press that armrest up into the cavity. Most people travel with that thing up. Next, we'll work on the driver's bottom. And as you'll see, you know, you look inside the pieces, right? On the inside, inside right of each piece, this piece says driver bottom DB right here. Um, we'll also know that this is for the driver bottom with the electric cutout here. Um, here's something to note on your electric cutout. I noticed as we we're ready to install this, you notice the piece of plastic is sticking out. If you just push in on it, it looks as though his screw has just come loose. So before we install, we're going to tighten that up. It's very common for this model of seat. You can see it being sucked in right now. Very common for this model of seat for people to have that come loose and then just getting in and out, they break that off. So that's tight. I'll maybe check the rest of them here a little bit. Everything else is pretty tight. You don't want to over tighten anything with this plastic and get brittle. Um, so I'm going to move that seat forward. We've got to keep the back down a little bit. Um, and as we get that cover tucked in, then we'll lift that thing up to the ceiling. Very first maneuver, make sure you get all these Velcros outside the cover. I'm going to lay that over. And then we're going to tuck behind the electric panel here. So, get all these Velcros out. Um, you want to start at the back edge, that big wing, and then just kind of pull it forward. I'm going to go all the way around the front. Okay, not super snug because we don't want to stress that panel out any. I'll tuck that in. Where that needs to go. I'm going to tuck over the inside edge of that cover. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to work the material from the seat cover that was sewn together right here. You want to work the material from this side to this side. So it's going to go to the outside of the round here. Um, I'm going to tuck this back edge in. Now if you tuck the back edge in, just leave it curled up like that, then it won't stick on you as you're trying to poke it through. What I want to do is I want to get the seat cover around the corner of this guy right here that's sticking out. Pull that down. Get that around that corner of the seat there. Okay. And quite often on this model, the driver's seat, like this one, is a little bit flattened out. So when we made the pattern on this seat, it was on a full fluffed out seat. The way you can get that seat cover to fit nicer is to kind of cheat it over towards the inside and uh, pull it tight that way. I'm going to lean this cover back a little bit. Okay, next we're going to tuck the inside part by the seat belt. We're going to tuck that behind this piece of metal here. Okay. Yeah, that right down in there. I want to get that to clear the cover and I'm going to reach on, grab the seat cover from the back side. And I'm pulling it down 
the cover is connecting to that hook Velcro a little bit, but don't press it in all the way. It's just nice for helping hold that cover into place. Okay. Keep forming that to the cover here. Now I'm going to put the backrest forward all the way. And I'm going to go on the flat bar, I'm going to lift that seat up all the way. You can hear it lifting up into the, the backrest there, tightening up. What that's going to do is it's going to free up all the controls. So we've lifted the seat up away. Now there's a gap between the framework of the seat up here and the framework down below and we're going to route those Velcros in between the two. We'll give you a good look on where to route those. Okay, we'll route the Velcros now. Um, so the way we route those Velcros is you take them and fold them in half lengthwise with the sticky part in and that stiffens them up just like a ruler. Makes them real easy to poke underneath the seat. I'll fold that one in half. There's one more up on the inside. I'll fold them in half. There we go. And you notice we have these buckles as well underneath the front right and left corner um, as well. Make sure those aren't tucked inside your cover. We can also fold this side Velcro in half. Get it ready. This Velcro is just going to tuck right underneath the seat here. Fold the inside one in half. Okay. That one's all ready to go. The inside one goes through an opening that's about this big. So that one's quite easy to install. But now we'll, we'll route all these Velcros. Okay, you'll note exactly where these are sewn on is right where the Velcros have to be routed. And as you can see, you can just poke those all the way to the back edge. They get hung up, you can come around the back side. Help them through here a little bit. What I'm going to do is just unfold this here. I'm just going to touch it to the back edge just to hold that just temporary for us. I'll go to the inside Velcro, same thing. Right where it's sewn on is where it has to go. And you want to make sure you avoid all those electric controls and any wires to control the seat. Right here, we'll just unfold this guy. Tight. Press it to the seat. I'm going to just take this and just push it straight down to the console here. Then I can just come and reach my hand. So you're going to go over the top of that mechanism and you can just feel for that Velcro right in front of that seat belt. Your hand should go through there quite easily. Okay, there's that Velcro. So now this one I'm going to pull tight. I'm going to pull that really tight. And what that's going to do is it's going to gain the slack out of that inside part of that cover. Let's move this up out of the way and let that connect. Next I'll route the uh, outside edge Velcro and this is going to go right up under the plastic exactly where that thing's sewn on. This is a real easy one to get to so we're just going to poke that in. Carefully going to reach my hand underneath here. Grab that Velcro, and as you can see, pulls right through that gap in the seat. Um, like the inside one, we're going to pull that tight. Here, not too tight. We'll move that cover, so we're going to pull that at about a 45 degree angle. Pull that tight, connect it to that fuzzy carpet on the back edge. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and tighten my outside one here a little bit. Let's give it a little pull here. Tighten my outside on here a bit. Everything's really tight. Now I'm going to show you how to kind of get the wrinkles out of the side of the, this cover um, as we uh, try to adjust it for the seat being a little bit flat. 
as you can see there's just a slight amount of wrinkling and that'll happen when the seat is a little bit flat uh, just from use from getting in and out I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that along in here but then I'm gonna grab the back edge of the seat cover it isn't fastened yet and I'm gonna pull it to the inside see that as I pulled that to the inside those wrinkles just went away so I'm gonna pull that down and press that to the carpet we'll give you a view of that from behind the seat okay we're gonna pull down we're gonna pull to the inside we're gonna pull this way to tighten that edge up and then you're gonna just press down to the carpet okay next we're gonna take this plastic buckle right here and that is gonna connect right up to the back side of this bracket uh, the way to do that is we're just gonna disconnect the velcro nice and easy here I, I hold on to that velcro okay okay I'm gonna push that and you get that right back over the top of that bracket there you see we're hooked on the bracket and I'm just gonna pull that velcro tight you can hear the seat cover squeaking a little bit and it's gonna get connected right up to there we have another one on the other side and basically that's gonna keep the corner of that seat cover down and keep that from pulling out next we're gonna install the lid portion um, lid on this just hard plastic it's got a little push button here that opens it we've made a little opening in the cover to accommodate for the push button on that uh, so to install you notice you have an adhesive velcro here attached to this loop velcro and you have an extra in case that one doesn't stick I'm going to set that aside carefully open up the velcro and what I do is I just try to lay it open keep that open so they're not touching because they will try to get stuck on each other open here so the latch opening is here that latch has to go here I'm going to take this whole cover and just grab it and flip it over and hopefully we won't get all the velcro stuck there we go that went good so we're going to push the button to lift that up okay we got the velcros on top um, i'm just going to lift this up this seat will actually help hold that cover in place right there next i want to attach these velcros like i said this lid is just it's hard plastic so it's going to be pretty slippery and try to slip around on you pretty good so but all you need to do is just temporarily connect this one doesn't have to be perfect yet so next we're going to pull this one and the, the idea of this lid cover is is you want to get the material going up to the front edge of that cover okay so you're going to pull on that see how the material is even flush with the front edge we'll pull that back I'm going to grab that back velcro and here's how you hook those pull in the back one pull in the front and you pull in the extreme ends to get that going now we can retighten this other one so i'm going to pull on that velcro get it pulled up to the front right here hold it up flush to the front and i'm still holding the pressure on that so grab onto each end of the velcro Lost that. There we go. Grab onto each end, pull, and connect. And we have side Velcro. These ones in the back. And pull these pretty darn tight and connect. Well, this whole thing is going to get pulled really tight. And connect. I have to adjust that a little bit. Center your opening here. And here's the next velcro in the front corner i'd pull that pretty tight you can pull these things really tight you're not going to tear these velcros off they are made to stay put so we fold that down that lid cover should fit the opening nicely and uh, be nice and tight no wrinkles next we're going to put this adhesive velcro down the way to do that is we're going to just use rubbing alcohol to prepare the surface of that. The way to do that, is apply a small amount, fold that Velcro in to see where that thing's gonna lay. That's where you wanna clean. So we're gonna just take that and we're gonna scrub real hard. And then when it's wet, wipe it dry with a dry piece of that cloth, okay? 
And that's all you need to do for the surface prep. So you're going to set there and you're going to fold that in, see where that's going to lay. Like I said, it doesn't need very much pressure at all. It just needs to hold this, this flap now. Peel off that adhesive. Hold that down. And then just press hard into the plastic. And that'll hold. If it does not stick, take the Velcro off because it, it's not going to work there. You're going to have to clean it with soapy water. If you use any kind of armor all or anything like that, it'll make it hard to stick. So you have to get soapy water, wash it off, and then come again with the uh, rubbing alcohol, wipe it dry while it's still wet. But there we have the installation complete. Everything on the seat moves, works. You have a seat cover that's going to last you for many years.